Right, come with me and we have got a 2014 Renault Scenic. And as you can hear, the engine has got a bit of a misfire. But we've done, jump straight onto the diagnostic machine and straight away we have got a cylinder one injector circuit control. Let's get involved and have a little look. First things first, we need to remove this intake pipe off the turbo. Uh, there's a 10 mil there and then we can move, remove this plastic cover here with a couple of tens and a couple of clips. Maybe we can get to the injectors. Now the engine's cooled down a little bit, I put the pipe back on just to double check. Um, obviously give it a bit of a wiggle test on the wires. And the car now has actually started to run back on four cylinders. Uh, but every now and again, from this area here, you can hear like a like a, a loud ticker noise from cylinder one. So we're just going to check them with the centre box. I'm going to go with this injector being faulty. Uh, it might test good, but I think it's faulty. Now I think that this injector is breaking down only when it's hot. Um, it hasn't completely failed as of yet, but we're just going to put some uh, breakout leads on it. And we're going to just test all the resistance on all the injectors. Now we've got it piggyback the injector. We've got it coupled up to the sense box, just like a, a, a multimeter on steroids. For a, for a perfectly healthy piece of injector, it's about 200 kilo ohms. Well, that's 203. So if you remember that one, for cylinder one, let's check the cylinder two. Now we're coupled up to cylinder two we have got 201 kilo ohms of resistance. Now it is slightly different, but I wouldn't say it's nothing major. Um, I'm gonna go with experience with this injector. When it's getting hot, it must be breaking down. So let's get it out and I've got a new injector on its way. Now what we're gonna do first is remove the diesel spill pipes from each injector. Uh, we're gonna be extra careful with these because they are plastic and they do go brittle and they'll snap quicker than that. Now we've got the spill pipes out of the way. Uh, we can remove the high pressure fuel pipe for cylinder one and we can crack out with a 10 mil and see if we can get this injector out. Now we've got everything out of the way, luckily enough for me that this injector is nice and free and it's, it's just pulled out ever so easily. Now we've got the brand new uh, video diesel injector that's turned up, we'll compare it against the old one. As you can see I've still got the old one coupled up and that is 201.7.8. I'm going to swap them over. Bang on 200 kilo ohms. Anyway, let's get this new injector fitted. Now, before we put that new injector in, you need to make sure that that injector seat is absolutely spotless and there's no debris down there. So just get yourself a little bit of a blow gun and blow it all out. Now before we put it back into the engine, we're going to be using a little bit of liquid molly, uh, injector and glow plug grease. Just put it around the shaft of the injector, so if it ever has to come out again, it should come out nice and easy. And once that injector is put back in, we need to jump onto auto data, and it says that we need to torque up to 27 newton meters, and that is it. It doesn't seem a lot, but it is plenty tight enough. Once we've built it all back up, we need to jump back onto the scanner now, onto the diagnostics, and we need to code that injector cylinder one. And I've had to take a picture of it because my eyes are absolutely shocking. So let's put this code in. It's all got to be perfect. Upper case and lower casing is all got to match that. Once we finish off programming that, we can exit it. Um, let's jump back, read the DTC. Give it a quick clear of Rooney. Read the codes again, no fault codes. Let's jump in the car and give it a big start. Let's see if she runs. Probably take a while to get starting to build the pressure up, but once it's started, it'll be fine. Perfect. Yeah, for the first time in like forever, I'm able to take you lot on a test drive with me. Uh, we're getting the car up to speeds now, it's going to give it a good pull. And the car is, well, as we used to say, it's pulling like a train. Alright, let's get back to the workshop. And there you go, now we're back off our test drive, and you can hear that car now is running on all four cylinders. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's get a sense. <laughs> 